So you're thinking of moving to Rock Hill, South Carolina? Look, when you're moving, being able to see the place and get a vibe for it, is that important to you? And you're staring at it on Google Maps and it's just not working? Come with me and I'm gonna show you everything you need to know about Rock Hill, South Carolina. Welcome to the Carolina Salute. Today we are downtown Rock Hill. And if you're thinking of moving to Rock Hill, this is some place you're gonna wanna come down to. Downtown is a happening place. There's breweries, pizzerias, taco shops. There's a distillery, amazing restaurants and little shops for you to go in and even the Main Street Children's Museum. This is gonna be somewhere you come down with your family, your friends, your kids, because it's walkable, it's safe, and it's an amazing place to come hang out and maybe even people watch. You know, so when you're moving, downtown's gonna be important to you. And if you've thought of moving, I'd love to hear from you. My name's Joe McIntosh. I'm a realtor here for North and South Carolina. And every day I hear from amazing people just like you who are looking to make this move into this city. So what do y'all say? Let's go see some more of Rock Hill and see if you like the vibe and the culture you get from it. So welcome to our next stop. You know, when I do the vlog tours, I like to give you some option and variety because nowhere looks all the same. This neighborhood we're in right now is Layton Forest, built by Accent Home Builders. And we're right off of Cherry Road here in Rock Hill. It's got an incredible location because we're only about 1.5 miles back to downtown and super close to the other parks and everything you need in Rock Hill and also off of Cherry Road gives you a direct shot down to 77 for your morning commutes if you have to head north or south of Rock Hill. So your home prices and sizes in here are going to vary a little bit. The smallest homes are going to be about 1,700 square feet and those are going to come in around that $350,000 mark and the biggest homes in here are going to be right at that 3,000 square foot mark and come in around 500,000. So you can get a smaller home in a nice neighborhood or you can get a bigger home in this same incredible neighborhood. The homes here, your fronts, as you can see, are gonna be some sort of stone or brick finish to kind of give it some character, some movement, and then finished out uh, three sides vinyls and they've got decent sized little lots in here also cool thing with this neighborhood is you're about 10 minutes down to york prep which is a top rated school here in the rock hill school system and then you're also about 10 minutes up to northwestern which is one of the high schools that service the city so what do y'all say special treat today we do get to go see a model home so y'all stay with me and I'll see you inside. Hey guys, so welcome inside. This model's 3,100 square feet, appointed beautiful kitchen. Everything is fresh, nice white cabinets. They've been able to put in backsplash, brand new appliances. And then you really do get your open concept here as you roll around here into the family room, which has been upgraded with a fireplace, stone surround done here. So really a nice cozy feel, beautiful LVP flooring. And also downstairs, you do get an office slash flex room on the main level along with some bathrooms and a, another little eating area. Well, what do you say? Let's go see the master bath. Welcome upstairs. We are in the primary bedroom. Check out this space, really cool seating area. And as you'll notice, this is the king size bed. Look at the space we have in here. Is this somewhere you think you might wanna live? And then come on, check out this primary bathroom. Everything's tile, quartz, shower, tub, closet, everything you could want in a primary bed bath ensuite. This has been a beautiful home. Y'all stay with me and I'll see you at the next stop. Welcome to Cherry Park, an urban enclave of charm 
and beautiful homes conveniently located. We're about two miles just out of downtown. We're right next to Miracle Park. We're gonna get over there next. And between Winthrop University and the Winthrop Sports Complex is actually right here behind us. Your home sizes in here are gonna vary from anywhere from about 2,000 square feet all the way to four to 5,000 square feet as you see some of the other homes here around the neighborhood. Cherry Park is gonna be where some of the original movers and shakers of Rock Hill decided to take up residence. So you've got this beautiful community, a suburban feel, but you're in the middle of the city. So what do y'all think? You've got large, beautiful trees, large lots, and beautiful homes. It doesn't get much better. But what do y'all say? Let's see some of the neighborhood and I'll see you at the next spot. Hey guys, Cherry Park. The home I wanted to feature for you in Cherry Park is 962 Myrtle Drive. This is a four bed, four bath, 3,080 square feet, built in 1950, so you know it's solid. And this home sits on 0.46 acres. I told you Cherry Park, nice big lots. There's not many places you can get almost a half acre within the city and it's right next to all the parks. One thing with this, they did do a garage conversion. So it's where a decent amount of that square footage comes from, but it's done beautifully inside. Y'all look it up, it's absolutely gorgeous. 962 Myrtle Drive here in Rock Hill. Well, that's this home. What do y'all say? I'll see you at the next place. Welcome to Miracle Park. This place place is absolutely amazing. It's one of the only parks that is all-inclusive. And what all-inclusive means is for all children, regardless of their disability. There are amazing things here for sight, for sound, and for touch. And there's these awesome play structures here behind me. It's an amazing place. This big loop right here, it plays music and it goes through the numbers and the touch pad. This down here is a set of swings that act like a, a zip line almost. It's one of my daughter's favorite things to do here. I think I get more of a workout than she does as you pull her back and throw her down and she laughs the whole way through and absolutely begs to come down here on probably a daily basis. Other parks you're gonna wanna check out here in Rock Hill is gonna be Cherry Park. Cherry Park is 60 acres in the middle of the city with trails and softball fields and baseball fields. And bonus there, the play area is shaded. So summertime, late spring, it's hot. Your kids wanna go outside. You can sit in the shade and not fry like an egg, which is always really nice. Other notable parks here for Rock Hill are gonna be Ebenezer Park. It sits up on Lake Wiley and they've got a public beach, a beautiful pier you can sit on and fish from. They've got volleyball courts, basketball courts, multiple picnic areas, and you can even camp there. They've got plenty of camp campsites for RV camping. So that's definitely a destination. But one thing to remember, there's not a lot of shade there. Your shade is really restricted to the picnic areas. And even then, sometimes this magical sun here is going to find you. So make sure you take your sunscreen so you don't end up a crispy critter. But this has been Miracle Park, someplace you've got to come down to. It's really special and they're going to expand. And bonus here, the facilities are clean. Bathrooms, clean. You can come in, use the bathroom, take your children potty and know you're okay. But what do y'all say? I'll see you at the next spot. Let's go. Welcome to our next neighborhood. This is Riverwalk. And if you're seeking an outside lifestyle, you wanted to be active, you wanted everything at your fingertips, this right here is the neighborhood for you. Don't click off. Y'all have to hear about this place. Why a lot of people like this neighborhood in Rock Hill is because of its location. You're super close to the business and industrial districts of Rock Hill, and you're super close to I-77. So if you have to commute somewhere, 
you're centrally located. But let's listen to what this neighborhood has inside of it. This neighborhood has a YMCA. This neighborhood has a criterium course it's the, for bicycles. It's got a velodrome and it's got a world class BMX course in it also. And outside the BMX course is an incredible playground. And oh, by the way, we're right here by a park that's on the river, also with miles of trail. So you want to be active. You want to get outside. You want to enjoy this beautiful weather we're blessed with here in this part of the country. You want to live in Rock Hill. Your value here is incredible. Now, I told you how awesome the neighborhood is. You can see some of the beautiful homes here behind me. They're kind of done in a older style. You can see everything's going to have a front porch and these are going to be longer built homes and then on the back side is going to be a detached garage that's accessed off of an alley you know so you see the home that is all living space it's not like a that quarter of the downstairs is going to be taken up by a garage so let's kind of get down to the nitty-gritty of what your money buys you in here your three bed three bath homes are gonna be in the start in the mid 300 thousand range and then they're gonna stretch all the way up to 30 500 square feet and these homes are gonna be in the low 700 thousands and i'm sorry the three bed three baths there is what's going to be about 300 thousand and those are about 1700 square feet still a ton of quality super charming loads of character absolutely love the neighborhood of river walk it doesn't get any better also housed in here is one of the best restaurants in all of rock hill called the pump house you can sit there and have this gorgeous view of the river so this is really a neighborhood that has it all y'all stay tuned and i'll see you at the next spot hey guys how are you so i wanted to talk to you a little bit about this india hook area up here in rock hill it sits right on the southern banks of lake wiley and up here a lot of times you're going to get a little more bang for your buck and sometimes you'll have more space there's quite a few neighborhoods down this road the main road here is mount gallant and so sometimes people don't like it because it's kind of one to two roads in or out depending on where you are. You've either got to go into Rock Hill to get groceries or you've got to run up into Lake Wiley. But special today, I've got some clients that need to see a lakefront home. So I'll be able to show you a lakefront home sits out on a beautiful point. Amazing view. I really think y'all will enjoy it. And also what's cool about this India Hook area is the elementary school and the middle school actually grade pretty high. So awesome area. You can spend anywhere from the mid threes up to if you're on to waterfront, you know, you're going to be at a million plus. But for non waterfront homes, you're going to get a little more for your money a lot of times. And you can spend anywhere between four to nine hundred thousand, depending on how much how she wanted or how much space you needed. Well, what do y'all say? I'll see you at the waterfront home. You have a good one. Hey, so Lake Living, there's not always a whole lot of lake property listed here in Rock Hill. This is 1580 Museum Road. So four bed, four bath listed for 1 million 100,000 lake property usually starts right around a million. And if you can get to the lake for under that, you better buy it immediately. Well, what do y'all say? Let's check out inside and I'll see y'all on the rest of this amazing tour, but wanted to get a chance to show you lake life. Hey, so this is a treat. We do get to see some lakefront property here. It's listed at 1.1 million. What do y'all say? Let's go see this view. You think y'all could wake up to this and be happy?
Hey guys, welcome to our next stop. We're gonna talk country living in Rock Hill. That's one of the beautiful parts of Rock Hill is you really have some of everything. You've got that downtown urban environment. You've got old beautiful houses there in Cherry Park. You can get out there to Lake Living or you can come out here and stretch your legs and your arm and really not have any neighbors. So if that's something you're into, please get with me early. There are some built houses, and if you think you want to buy land and build a house, hey, there's definitely some processes to that that we have to follow. And when you get out here, hey, odds are good, you're not going to have city services, all right? So you'll be on well, you'll be on septic, and you'll probably have to take your own trash. So just understand that but living out here can be amazing i've got friends who have some property out in rock hill and they absolutely love it so if this is something you're into y'all get with me early and let's get you taken care of hey guys thanks for tuning in to another episode of the carolina salute really hope you enjoyed seeing rock hill figured there was no better way to end it than the sunset and the beautiful lake and all behind me if i can ever help you with any of your real estate needs please let me know and don't forget if you're feeling generous hit the like and the subscribe button until next time i'll see y'all later